Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this video is about Florian Marku. Of course, Florian Marku, a welterweight prospect out of Albania, signed with Matchroom, and Florian Marku really does have one of the most hardcore fan bases that I've seen in the sport of boxing for quite some time. His Albanian fans, without fail, come out and support this guy, and they have done basically since day one. I recall Florian Marku fighting early in his career, and he was basically selling out the likes of York Hall on his own in four rounders. You know, the guy has an incredible following and a very loyal fan base. Now, I believe Florian Marku came from the world of kickboxing and I believe MMA. He's not a guy who started boxing from a very young age. He was involved in other disciplines and basically he decided to give boxing a go. Now, when he first turned pro, I, I did see some of his early fights like I mentioned and early on, uh, Florian Marku to me was... I viewed him as a strong dude, uh, a bit of a brawler, a bit of a slugger. He could clearly punch a bit, but in all honesty, back then, I wasn't really expecting much from Florian Marku. However, as I've seen his career progress and develop, I have noticed several improvements from Florian Marku fight by fight, and, you know, that is always a good thing. When you're seeing fighters develop fight by fight, they're heading in the right direction, you know? I mean, look at Florian Marku's last two performances. Uh, he fought Ryland Charlton back in February. Now, he basically dominated that fight, but he did get dropped. Had a couple of uh, bad moments here and there. But he basically dominated uh, Ryland Charlton and got the knockout win. In his fight after, he recently fought Maxime Prodan, who, in my opinion, was a quite a big step up from Ryland Charlton. And... In that fight against Prodan, I felt Florian Marku dealt with the pressure a lot more effectively. Uh, he was managing his range so much better, getting behind the jab, which is a really good weapon from Florian Marku. And, you know, it seems like now Florian Marku is developing a style in which is his own. He's basically a back foot counterpuncher now. He likes to work behind the jab maintain distance and basically look for that stinging right hand as his opponent overcommits. It's like he's settling into his style now, whereas early on he was just a bit of a brawler, so it's good to see Florian Marku actually discover his style, and from his last couple of fights I think he's actually improving as a fighter. Now, to what extent and how far this guy goes, I still don't think he'll go all of the way, but he's a much better boxer than I originally gave him credit for, and I'm interested in his career. I do like his attitude towards the game, he seems to want to test himself. He does come across as very arrogant, but in the case of Florian Marku, I quite like that. I find that quite entertaining, and, you know, he truly believes that he can be the best fighter in the world. Now, I don't, I don't agree with him on that, but you have to have that sort of belief as a fighter. You, you really do, and if he does have that belief, he can't go too far wrong. So I think that's another positive aspect of Florian Marku. He has lofty ambitions, lofty goals, and that's great. And you see a guy improving fight by fight. He's boxing better and better as he goes on in his career. He actually has a really nice jab, which he can vary from body to head. He's actually quite accurate when he lets go of that right hand. He's got underrated timing. One thing I'd like to see from Florian Marku is for him to set his feet a little more. So when he throws that right hand as he's got a guy coming in, it's going to do more damage. I'd like to see Florian Marku, you know, obviously he's being a boxer right now, but I want to see a bit of him being like the boxer puncher because... I do think Florian Marku is quite heavy-handed. Now, we, did, we didn't see that against Maxime Prodan because Marku was moving a bit more, but I think if Marku sets his feet and times a guy, he can definitely hurt them to some degree. I want to see a bit more of that. I do want to see a bit more aggression in Florian Marku's boxing, but the skill set is definitely improving fight by fight. 
And yeah, originally I, I thought Florian Marku was just a gimmick. I viewed him as a guy who could sell a few tickets, you know, coming in from the kickboxing world. But I really, I, I really didn't think too much of him, if I'm being honest. But the more I've seen of him, the more I like him, you know, just out of entertainment. A lot of people in the UK really like Alan Babich, but for me personally, I find Florian Marku much more entertaining than Alan Babich. With Alan Babich, to me it comes across much more of a gimmick, it comes across much more of an act, whereas Florian Marku, his, his, um, his personality and, and the way he acts is really him, and I quite like that. I know he's not for everybody, I know a lot of people dislike him, but I, I do like Florian Marku, I like hearing him speak, I like it when he talks shit, and I actually quite like watching him in the ring, and I appreciate that he is trying to improve his game. I know he spars hard, he trains hard, and, you know, you can only commend that. And potentially I see some really interesting fights for Florian Marku in the UK. Now, it looks like he's going to fight once more this year. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be a guy maybe similar to the level of Maxime Prodan. But a fight I would love to see... Um, next year, I'll be honest, I, I still want to see the Conor Ben fight. I think Flor I think Florian Marku versus Conor Ben would be interesting. I'd probably favour Conor Ben, but Florian Marku can move. He's got a nice jab, he can box a bit, he's got a little bit of power. Conor Ben's not really fought a guy of that style. I know Granados was kind of running around and not really fighting, but Florian Marku will actually try to outbox Conor Ben. He'll actually try and catch Conor with some big shots. I actually think that's quite a good fight, to tell you the truth, and I would expect that fight to be a lot more competitive than many people realise. I think the, the feeling now is that Conor Ben smashes Florian Marku. I would, I would lean towards Conor Ben, no doubt about it. I would pick him to win more than likely. But I think Florian Marku is definitely a live dog in that fight. Failing a Conor Ben fight, another fight that could be really interesting is Florian Marku versus... Uh, Michael McKinson, who's got a couple of big wins recently on matchroom cards. I think that's another good fight for Florian Marku. But ultimately, these are the sort of fights I want to see Florian Marku in next year. I know Eddie Hearn's talking about taking Florian Marku to Albania and having a card there. That would, that would be great to see. I can only imagine the atmosphere if Florian Marku fights in Albania. But I'm interested in regards to Florian Marku from... An entertainment perspective, and I do appreciate as a boxer, he is trying to get better. Do I think this guy is going to be a world champion? No, I'll be honest, I don't. But at the same time, I've got to concede and say he's definitely a lot better than I thought he was when he first turned pro. Uh, I didn't expect anything from Florian Marku, to tell you the truth. But he's got a lot better, he's moving in the right direction. Uh, I, I like his training setup with. Uh, uh, Clifton Mitchell. I think he's got a great manager in Sam Jones. I think his team right now is spot on and he's being moved very well. I, I like Florian Marku. This is a Florian Marku, I guess, appreciation video and kind of what I want to see from him next year as he develops in his career. But anyway, what do you guys make of Florian Marku? Do you believe he's just a gimmick like most people do or do you believe there's actually a decent fighter in Florian Marku. I see some ability in Marku, and again, I'm not I'm not talking about world level ability, but ability enough to give guys like Michael McKinson and Conor Ben some real hard fights. And yeah, I want to see uh, Florian Marku in these sort of fights next year, personally. Um, but what about you guys? I, I've kind of gone, you know, from one end to the other on Florian Marku. Didn't really care for him when he turned pro, but as I've seen more of him, I, I, I do quite like him, I have to say. Anyway, share your thoughts below. What do you make of Florian Marku? Peace.